All right, Jonathan, good afternoon. My name is James McKissick. I'm the president of USTA South Carolina, and I'm so glad to have you on this uh, Zoom call or uh, uh, Google Meets call this afternoon. And I just want to first and foremost want to congratulate you on your passion for tennis and obviously your ability. I um, want to tell you that USTA South Carolina really looks to the tennis community to nominate outstanding members, players, programs, facilities, anybody are reserving, deserving, excuse me, of recognition. And this year, we are so pleased to present you with the 2020 Regional Recognition Award. Your unmatched drive to learn, um, coupled with your athletic talent, are admirable. And I'm just so proud of you, and I'm just so, I, I admire you for playing tennis, and especially wheelchair tennis, because I know that that's a, um, a difficult sport to learn, and I've got great friends that play it, uh, Taylor and, and Bob Masella are two good friends of mine that play wheelchair tennis and um, I've seen it and I've watched it and I don't know that I could do it. So my hat's off to you. Thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> Absolutely, this is a big honor for you and uh, we just can't be more pleased for you. Thank you. So tell me, how did you get started playing wheelchair tennis or tennis in general? Well, it all started when um, me and my, I play also basketball, wheelchair basketball on the side and back in my old team, uh, one of my old, my old coach by the name of uh, Jeff Townsend. Yeah, I know Jeff. In the summer, we tried different athletic sports uh, that were handicapped. And one day, we decided to try out wheelchair, wheelchair tennis. And, you know, I went to the practice and I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. And then the next season, we also went for a second time. And I also enjoyed it. And then Jeff, one time, he reached out saying that, I would let, yeah, I would love to learn and um, that there was a dual, that there was going to be a scholarship for Clemson. Yeah. And, um, and I decided to like, hey, I actually do like the sport. Let, I should try it out. And yeah, and I've been going to the practices and trying it out, trying to do my best. And yeah. Well, good for you. That's all we can ever ask of anybody when they play any sport is just to do your best. But um, and so how often do you practice and play? Uh, once a week. Oh, good for you. So you must be really good. You're a natural athlete if you can pick it up in a week, uh, only a week's work. I have to practice five and six days a week and I still get skunked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, so tell me, you're, so you're going to play, did you win the scholarship for Clemson? No, sir, not yet. No, oh, but, um, well, we have high hopes that you will. That's, um, that, I think that's great. And, you know, it's really a great program that Clemson is doing over there. I know Jeff and I know Chuck McEwen, who's the director of tennis there. And I mean, that is just such a, it's a fabulous facility. Have you seen it since it's been renovated? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's gorgeous. Um, that would be a great place to play tennis. And we are certainly rooting for you and hopefully we, you can win that scholarship and continue you on. Are you, what grade are you in? I'm a sophomore in 10th grade, sir. Oh, you've got plenty. You, by 12th grade, you'll get that scholarship. I'm confident. I can't promise you anything, but I, I, I'm certainly rooting for you. How about that? Yeah, fingers crossed. Yes, sir. So what's the biggest takeaway that you've learned from playing tennis? I mean, have you made new friends or it's a, what is it that's mean the, the most to you? Um, just like, it's just like a whole different like atmosphere. I mean, I haven't done like any games. That's just been practicing and practicing trying to learn right. and be more advanced so I can, you know, get to like professional level, hopefully. But um, no, wow. it's a fun sport and I feel like I could, you know, go like forever with my life with this sport. Yeah, absolutely. So what, what have you learned about yourself in this process? Um, perseverance, I have a lot. Yeah. I have a lot and I, I'm just striving to be the best that I can, doing as much as I can. Well, I would say you've got a lot of focus too and certainly natural ability. So that is just fabulous. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is there anything that you'd like to add? Anything that you want to tell us about your experience with wheelchair tennis or talk a little bit more about this award? Well, I'm definitely honored for this award. Thank you guys so much. Um, I... I, n I never really thought I would win this because honestly, I was just seeing this sport as something that I love to do and just something that 
you know, I'm working hard on. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't expect anything, which again, I'm also really humbled for. And um, yeah, to anyone that wants to practice this sport, I say go for it because it's a lot of fun. It's, it's hard at first, but trust me, right. it's, it's so much fun. Well, your, your humility shines through, and that's you know one of the reasons that you've gotten this award is your embodiment of the sport and your humility and your sportsmanship. I'm told that you're a great sport on the court, and your dedication and perseverance are a shining light and example to all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much. So again, on behalf of USDA South Carolina Board of Directors, I'm so pleased to present you with the 2020 Regional Recognition Award.